Bishop Easterling, and members of the annual conference. The Center for Vital Leadership was created last year as a partnership between the Baltimore, Washington, and Peninsula Delaware conferences. It is a part of a larger strategy to increase ministry effectiveness for all our churches through collaboration and cooperation. We expect that over time, we will provide many leadership development opportunities to laity and clergy alike. One effort we will develop over the next year will be a program to train non-anxious leaders who can guide us through the unprecedented changes that we are experiencing as a society and a denomination. Another effort will help church leaders identify and implement an effective intentional discipleship pathway to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. Today, I want to share with you two exciting opportunities that are available this year. The first is the Certificate in Congregational Leadership Program. This series of online courses is available to anyone from our annual conferences free of charge. And while the program is open to anyone, lay servants, certified lay ministers, and part-time local pastors will find it particularly helpful, especially in small church contexts. Six courses are currently available, Church Administration, Sacraments, Pastoral Care, Wesleyan Theology, Time Management, and United Methodist History and Doctrine. The capstone course, The Non-Anxious Leader, How to Lead Change in an Age of Anxiety, will be available later this year. These are your annual conference resources at work. We encourage you to take advantage of them. The second opportunity is the Living Well program. Living Well is a program designed for clergy by clergy to empower them to reflect on and assess their life and ministry through the lens of health and wellness. The program guides clergy on a journey of self-reflection and exploration, individually and with colleagues, as they consider what it means in their life and ministry to love God with all their heart, all their mind, all their strength, and all their soul. The pilot program was completed this March with 17 participants and 10 Living Well team members. Also leading the way is the joint appointive cabinet of our two annual conferences who began their Living Well cycle in April. The seven-month Living Well process not only fulfills the Book of Discipline requirement for periodic assessment, it creates a time of renewal for both life and ministry. One pilot program participant said, this saved my ministry. This was just one of many comments we received from the pilot program. Three different Living Well cycles begin later this year at Bacomath in August, Manadokan in September, and West River in October, respectively. It's open to deacons, elders, and licensed local pastors. Half the cost of the program is underwritten by the annual conference, and completion earns 3.3 CEUs. Jesus said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. That's living well.